Hello everyone! In this video, I'll walk you through one of the most exciting new tools in Matrix Gold 3.10, Azure Cutters. You'll find Azure Cutters in the Cutters tab. First, select the surface where you want to apply the cutters. Then, hit Enter and select the gems. Matrix Gold will automatically generate a clean, optimized pattern beneath each stone. This pattern isn't just aesthetic. It improves visibility through the piece and makes your designs lighter. Let's take a look at the settings you can customize for even more control. First is the outer wall thickness. This controls the distance between the last cutter and the edge of your surface. Adjusting it to 0.4 millimeters, for example, reduces the spacing and tightens the border. Next is the inner wall thickness, which controls spacing between internal elements. Setting it to 0.3 millimeters increases that inner spacing and refines the structural look of the cuts. You can also adjust the distance from girdle to control how deep the cutters go from the stone. Use the on-screen handle or input a value directly to get precise results. The taper setting changes how the cutter narrows toward the bottom. You also have step, which adds a flat section inside the cut, useful when maintaining distance in thicker pieces. And finally, overhang adjusts how far the cut drops down from the base surface. These controls give you a ton of flexibility for customizing under gallery aesthetics. In this example, I projected a curve onto the surface. Using that curve as a boundary allows the cutters to follow a custom silhouette. Once selected, all dimensions adapt to the curve's limits. This means you're no longer restricted by the base surface. Your projected curve controls how far the cutters reach. It's great for complex or open gallery work where control matters. Now that the Azure cutters are in place, I'll finish the piece by applying standard gem cutters to the stones. I'll keep them short here since we already removed material underneath. To finalize the model, I'll use solid Boolean difference between the body and both sets of cutters. This combines the aesthetics of the Azure pattern with the practical stone settings. As you can see, once I hide the stones and base surfaces, the result is clean and elegant. We get precise holes and a decorative finish, exactly what the Azure cutter was designed for. Let's explore another example. In this new model, I only want to apply Azure cutters to a specific area, but it's important to prepare a clean target surface first. In this case, the base mesh is made up of multiple surfaces, so I'll extract the outer edge, then use loft to create a smooth, continuous surface that's ready for cutter placement. Now that I've created a simplified surface, I'll select it as the cutter target and choose the gems. Matrix Gold will apply the cutters, but what if they don't all show up? That likely means a surface doesn't have enough subdivisions. No problem. I simply rebuild the surface, increasing point density so the tool can generate all the cutters properly. With the updated surface, I try again. This time, everything works as expected. I can now fine tune the inner and outer wall thickness, adjusting visuals to match the design. If the halo or base is thin, be mindful of the thickness values. A bit of trial and error will help you find the perfect balance between support, cut depth, and metal saving. Once again, I select the Azure cutters, the gem cutters, and then perform solid Boolean difference to apply the final cuts. The result is lightweight, open, and professionally finished. Here's another useful improvement we've made in Matrix Gold 3.10. This one's for dynamic Booleans. It's a small change, but it solves a common source of confusion for many users. In previous versions, when you performed a Boolean operation between a Rhino object and a Matrix Gold object, both original pieces stayed visible, even after the Boolean was applied. That led to confusion. Many users thought the Boolean didn't work because the input geometry never disappeared. It made it harder to tell what was happening in the viewport. Now in version 3.10, we've cleaned this up. When you use dynamic Booleans with Rhino objects, the original object is automatically hidden, and a message appears telling you it's been updated. You'll see a note confirming that the Rhino object was moved to a new layer. This makes the result of the Boolean operation instantly clear. No more second guessing if it actually worked. Once validated, you can move the resulting object and the Boolean will update dynamically. You can even unhide the Rhino object later by switching layers. No data is lost. This small adjustment eliminates a lot of unnecessary visual clutter and confusion. 
you get a cleaner experience and better control during modeling and editing. It's one of those simple improvements that make a big difference in daily workflow. We hope you find it helpful as you explore all that's new in Matrix Gold 3.10. Another exciting new tool in Matrix Gold 3.10 is the Scanned Gem function, found under the Gems tab. It's designed to help you work with real-world gem scans, especially when you have a custom or irregular shape. To demonstrate, I'll start by creating a pear-shaped gem. Then I convert it to a mesh to simulate a scanned stone. Using the Scan Gem tool, I select the mesh and it begins interpreting the shape. But for best results, it's important to set the gem template, in this case, to pear. Once the template is selected, you can show it on screen for reference. Use the top view to center the stone over the template. This helps you align it more accurately. From the side view, you can also enable the intersect plane to see how the tool slices through the gem. This gives better control before validating the scan and confirming the alignment. Once the scanned gem is set, you can apply a bezel setting or other features. The bezel will now follow the actual scanned shape, not just a generic template. Perfect for real world models. Let's look at another use case. Say you have a freeform shape, like this hand-drawn curve. I'll create a custom gem, convert it to mesh, and simulate a scanned gem. In this case, there's no standard gem shape. So inside the Scan Gem tool, I'll choose No Template to work with the raw geometry without forcing it into a preset shape. Then I drop the mesh and click Enter. Now I can generate a gem offset curve, which outlines the scan shape and lets me start designing a setting around it. From here, I can add a bezel or any other custom setting. This gives you a smooth workflow from scan to setting, especially when working with one-of-a-kind gemstones. So that's the new Scan Gem tool, designed to give you flexibility and control when working with real-world gem scans or custom mesh shapes in Matrix Gold 310. Here's another powerful addition in Matrix Gold 3.10, the Prong Guides tool. It gives you total control over how prongs are placed and shaped, perfect for customizing settings on any gem. To demonstrate, I'll place a gem and activate Prong Guides. The tool displays a wireframe view showing the expected prong structure so you can visualize the layout before making changes. One great feature is the ability to move all prongs at once, or switch to single guide mode to control each prong individually. This makes it extremely flexible for detailed adjustments. You can also enable All Guides mode and apply the Auto Sweep, allowing you to adjust prong placement dynamically along the gem's perimeter for more complex layouts. All prongs come with adjustable handles. You can tweak each one precisely, change its position, or edit the curve. You also have control over profiles, heights, and tapering. You also get full control over settings like top profile, bottom profile, width and height, just like in the head builder. But now it's all available within the prong guide tool. This gives you functionality we didn't have before, especially useful in complex or non-standard designs. You can now tailor prong placement with precision across any gem shape. So if you're working on a custom piece or need total control over prong design, Prong guides will become an essential part of your Matrix Gold workflow. Here's the small but powerful enhancement you may like. Quickly reuse last builder settings. Now, when using tools like Auto Sweep, you can reuse your last setup without reconfiguring everything. Let's say I've applied a profile to a curve and customized it with specific settings. I'm choosing a more squared shape to create a bolder look. Then I'll use Auto Sweep to apply it along the curve. Now I want to apply that same setup to another curve without rebuilding it from scratch. All I need to do is hold Shift and select the same profile and the new curve. Matrix Gold will automatically apply the last used settings, saving time and ensuring consistency. If needed, I can still fine-tune each profile by editing them directly. If I want to copy that result to yet another path, I can even use Control-C, Control-V to duplicate it 
and then simply swap out the curve. Again, all the settings stay intact. This feature speeds up repetitive modeling tasks and gives you more control across multiple objects. A small change with a big impact on everyday workflow. Now let's talk about the Texture 3D tool in Matrix Gold 3.10. This tool lets you apply detailed textures directly to surfaces. And now it's faster and smoother than ever. To apply Texture 3D, I select the surface and go to Tools, Texture 3D. Then I pick a texture pattern and apply it directly onto the model. As you'll see, the texture applies much faster than before. The improved speed makes it more practical to test different textures quickly and see results without lag. Even in parametric mode, the tool updates smoothly. You can hide or unhide elements easily and keep your workflow moving without slowdown, something that makes a real difference. In Matrix Gold 3.10, we've made an important fix to the bezel tool, specifically how it handles thickness scaling across different gem sizes. Now, when you create a bezel for each gem, Matrix Gold automatically adjusts the thickness based on the gem size. This gives you more accurate, proportional results by default. For example, the smaller gem gets a 0.8 millimeter bezel, while a larger one gets 1.1 millimeter, and an even bigger one gets 1.3 millimeter. It's seamless, precise, and ready out of the box. This small but important fix saves you time and ensures your settings scale more realistically with each design, making bezel creation more efficient than ever. Another useful improvement in Matrix Gold 3.10 is the update to the Projects panel. Previously, the project list only used a drop-down menu. If you had a lot of projects, you had to scroll through the list or open the full Project Manager to use the search bar. Now, in version 3.10, you can search directly from the Projects panel. No need to open a separate window. Just type your project name and the list will filter as you go. Another new addition is the Horizontal Layout option. You can enable this by going to Preferences and checking Use Horizontal Layout under the Projects section. Once enabled, your project thumbnails are displayed in a clean, horizontal view, making it easier to scan and organize large collections visually. If you want to return to the original layout, just go back to Preferences and uncheck the setting. It's quick, customizable, and improves daily navigation. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed the new update, and as always, let us know your thoughts.